In this video, we are going to use scroll view to create a scrollable area inside our UI element in our inventory. And we are going to see how to set it up so it works correctly and it doesn't allow us to go over the uh, edges and to how to tweak the uh, scroll bar to use our own assets. Okay, let's get going. Let's continue. We are going to create a scroll view, so a view that allows us to scroll around our uh, content of the inventory since not always we are going to have exactly this amount of items. We may want to have more and we may want to scroll down to look up, uh, for, through each of those. So to add a scroll view in Unity, we need to select the panel that we want to use as the parent for our scroll view. We are going to right click here select the UI and we are going to select the scroll view element and basically this will create for us this panel with two scroll bars. Now first thing that I want to do is select the scroll view, select direct transform and select the anchor pre preset and I will want to select alt shift so uh, set the pivot and set the position and uh, stretch it in the horizontal and vertical uh, way so that we have this filling in our inventory content panel. Now I know that I will want to only scroll downwards, so I want to expand the scroll view and we are going to have find the viewport, the scroll bar horizontal and the vertical one. I want to remove the horizontal one and in the scroll view we are going to find that there is the component called scroll rect and it is a horizontal scroll bar is missing. So what we want to do is uncheck the horizontal one and we are going to set the horizontal to be none. For now, that's it. We are going to modify more uh, options later, but for now, let's focus on the viewport. This is the object that has a mask on it, and this has a content object that basically is what our mask of the viewport will show. So if the content is greater, then our viewport will cut it and only show this part that is visible here. That's what this mask component do. Now what I want to do is I want to put inside my content a grid layout uh, so that for the inventory system that we are building the objects will uh, be created in a grid fashion. So let's select our content, let's add component and let's type grid layout and we are going to see that we have our grid layout but nothing changes. Let's add the content, right click, create a UI and let's select a maybe simple image for the test purpose. Now this image will be created here. Let's select our content and we have this grid layout group and grid layout group. Let's select the padding. Let's add it 20, 20, 20, 20. So that our images or uh, elements that are inside our uh, grid layout will appear inside the object here. Now I will want the cell size to be 150 by 150. Basically, this is how much our image will take inside our content element. Now, if we select our image and use Ctrl D to duplicate it, we are going to see that those images will now be created in a grid-like fashion. Now, let's create a couple of those using the Ctrl D. And as you can see, our images were hidden because our viewport uses this mask. If we uncheck this, it will appear the, the additional images that go outside of the bounds of this viewport will appear. We do not want that, so let's leave the mask on. But right now there is no spacing between those images, so let's add spacing 20 and 20. And now we have a proper grid layout. Now if we press play, let me select the maximize on play, we are going to see that our uh, scroll view doesn't... Uh, behave like we want it to so let's start moving using the scroll uh, wheel i can see that i'm scrolling but very slowly and of course i can use my mouse to scroll down but i can sort of go uh, above the last piece of our inventory and i can go downwards so let's stop it and what's going on here is that in our viewport we can also change some settings or rather in our scroll view we have uh, the movement type elastic, I want to set this to be clamped. Also, I may want to set the inertia to be disabled and the scroll sensitivity to be something like 10. This should work much better in terms of the speed of scrolling up and down. I also may want to select the visibility to be auto hide. Uh, this should make our scroll bar hide, but since the content is a greater or bigger the, the size of the content is bigger than the viewport we are going to see that it doesn't hide and let me pause the game and we are going to decrease the size of this 
let me press play and as you can see the scroll bar is no more so there's there is this problem where if we set the content size to be too big the scroll bar will not auto hide so to fix this we are going to select the viewport element and to this we are going to add a component called horizontal layout group and if we add it strange things will happen with our grid layout to fix this let's select the control child size in our horizontal layout group width and height and now our content will take as much space as its content so if we remove some images this will the content size will be uh, as much as the panel here but if we increase it so let me control z to add it okay now we're going to see that the content size the height of this is greater so now if i press play we are going to see that the scroll bar is visible and it works pretty nice and i cannot go above or below the uh, list of my items here but as well if i delete some of those items we are going to see that if we now press play we are not going to see the scroll bar it will be hidden now if i of course select my image and uh, duplicate this okay let me uncheck it uh, too small amount of those images let me add some more okay and now our scroll bar is back visible okay so basically that's how we would use the scroll uh, view to uh, create the scroll bar uh, that allows us to scroll up and down the list of our items in the inventory now before we go to the next video about filling in the description part and creating actually the uh, image or the panel that will represent our item let's select our uh, viewport and actually not the viewport but the scroll bar vertical and i want to change the image of our scroll bar i will select the sliding area and i will select the handle and it contains the image here i will select the source image and for me it will be gui and we are going to select uh, underscore one and this will be my uh, scroll handle so if i now select my content and add some more images using ctrl d to duplicate those we are going to see now if i press play and of course you can tweak the image behind this now i do not have that many images but of course we can select our vertical uh, scroll bar vertical and select the image component and let's select and let's type g u i and we are going to select maybe this zero element and now we should see that this is pretty terrible we can increase the pixel uh, per unit multiplier to decrease the border size so now if we press play we should see that uh, our scroll bar is uh, defined by our own artwork okay see you in the next video